Hello everyone. So today I am going to re-implement swimming for the survival series project I am doing. So uh, I have already implemented in a separate project and I am going to use the same approach and integrate that swimming system into the survival project and this is the end result. So the survival character can swim in the ocean. Alright, so let's see how to do that. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Right, uh, now I'm going to add the swimming part to the survival project at the moment. The character can do various, in, various things, <laughs> but not swimming. Uh, and I, as I said in the previous episode, I have already implemented the swimming in this Unreal Engine swimming tutorial as a separate in a separate project, and I have imported that uh, extended. Uh, ocean water body uh, BP ocean into this project and it has this it has uh, I have set up all the things enter water and exit exit water with this uh, BPI swimming blueprint uh, and I, ha I have shown how to do all this in this video and I will put a link uh, in the description if you haven't watched this video yet so right now I'm directly going to use that system and re-implement it here for the survival character so here is that swimming implemented project let me show you see the character can swim without anything so let me open this third person character And the only thing I have done there is I have implemented this BPI swimming. So first I'll do that for the survival character. BPI character, BPI farming. We have so many things but not BPI swimming. Oh, where is it? Right. And I'll put it under interfaces because that's where all the interfaces are in this project all right now I'll implement swimming here <clears throat> what's the to enter water and exit water sorry oh we need to compile <clears throat> actually we don't really need to write them again because I have already implemented them here so I can just copy that to events from that uh, from the swimming project you wouldn't understand what happened what is happening here if you haven't watched that video <coughs> oh wait all right and what I can't copy the enter water blueprint event exit water okay and right click here and create variable water and create variable is it so I'll put these two into different category swimming what I said also under swimming and in the other project I under event tick I have 
implemented this part which takes which uh, changes the characters movement mode into swimming so I'll copy that part actually can I copy this node itself looks like I can okay now let's go back to the survival project where is the tick where is the tick 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 oh we don't we haven't used tick uh, so far cool let me add it here Just to make sure that I have a, don't have it anywhere else. No. Okay, we can just use swimming. Cool. Connect it like this. Everything required for swimming is encapsulated in that simple node. Compile. Cool. We don't have any compilers. Now, uh, wait. I didn't implement the animation required for swimming but let's do that first let's see if the character floats in water yeah it does it floats in the water okay so let's now implement the animation part uh, so actually for that in the other project I have already done everything required uh, for the animation blueprint but uh, how does the structure of the character works here oh wait let's migrate this VSP swimming animation blend space set actions migrate let's not migrate the character only the animations into the survival project right now let's see call oh no this is not the project Ah, this is the survival project mannequin animations okay animation is working because I have used the same character in the other project as well we don't have any issue there uh, now let's go to the animation blueprint of this mesh And we are standing graph. Okay, this is where the ground locomotion. I'll just use the swimming and blend forces by boot. As the true force, I'm going to use PP swimming, and as the speed, I can use the same speed variable we used to drive the locomotion blend space for the ground movement and I'll promote this as in water uh, like is in water and let's set a question mark as well because in the default uh, variable we get is in air so we can keep the same way for the first let's connect it and draw blend time let's for spend time let's give like 0.5 otherwise the transition will be abrupt and it wouldn't look cool right now how do we detect if we are in water well same as here we can get the movement component of the phone owner and is swimming 
if yes set is in water and connect swim all right no that's it let's check Character can swim, and we have to, of course, modify this rotation speeds and other parameters to make it look realistic. But in general, the character can swim now. All right, so with that, I'd like to spot stop this episode right here. And as always, project files will be available. For the download here in the patreon page link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye